which you guys, everyone needs one of these for their laptop. Now we all know that laptops nowadays don't come with a lot of ports on them. Now, if you're looking for extra ports, maybe you need some sort of uh, LAN port on there, or maybe a USB-A or Type-C or Display Port or HDMI port and things like that, then this video is for you. If you're looking for a way to expand the amount of ports on your laptop or any other device that you're plugging it into, whether it be Windows or Mac, then this video is for you. You can use something like I'm going to show you in a second to expand the amount of ports that you have here. You can see this one does have a HDMI and also a SD Express card slot on there as well. Now, some of these don't come with these particular connections. There is no Ethernet on this particular uh, laptop. But if you look on the other side, which I'll show you right now, you can see there we do have two Type-C uh, connections and one USB-A connection on there as well. So if you needed more ports, you could use a hub or an external hub. You can either have one that's powered by its own means, or you can have one that's powered by an adapter. And I'll show you both of these that you can use. So here we have our laptop here, and I'm going to show you the first one, which is called the 10 in 1 Explorer Edition by Dotcase. You've seen me show you these before. This one is a pretty nice little external USB hub. Now, taking a look on this side, you can see we do have a Type C data USB port on there and two USB A ports. One of them's a USB 2.0, and one of them's a USB 3.2 Gen 2 port on there. SD and TF card slot on there and the D key a control button on there as well. On the other side, we do have that power in, which is 100 watts, 20 volts and 5 amps, which is on the left. And we do also have a HDMI on there with up to 8K at uh, 30 hertz. And we also have a DP, which is your display port, USB uh, type A, which is USB 2.0 and your gigabit Ethernet LAN port on there as well, which is going to give you enough connectivity for this laptop if you needed more USB ports or, or some sort of display ports on there or even just get yourself some sort of Ethernet port on there. So you can see we do have uh, quite a bit of connectivity here for us. So let's go ahead and get this plugged in and you'll see exactly what it looks like. As you can see, quality components in this one. It's got an aluminium chassis on this with a nice glass front on here. Keeps it running nice and cool. It has a clear top uh, screen on here, and we can also see we do have a display on here, which gives us some useful information. So all in all, a very good uh, USB hub here, which is going to give you basically a load of connectivity on here. So let's get some uh, devices plugged in here. Now, you can use this for a dual 4K at 60 hertz display. So if you needed to have dual display on here, you can basically just plug in uh, your connections into this, and it will give you dual display. So I'm going to plug in the Ethernet cable. As soon as you plug it in, you should get some sort of notification on the screen here telling you, you do have a device plugged in. And this will give us full speed on our internet. So you won't lose any speed once you plug this into your laptop. You can see here, I do have some connectivity on the screen showing you here. And I will do a speed test so you can actually see the speed that we're getting with this particular type of uh, USB hub here. So I'm going to run a speed test, which is the normal speed, which I would get for this particular connection. Even if it was plugged into my computer, I get exactly the same sort of speed. So you can see I'm not losing any download or upload speed by using this device, which is a good thing. So if you need those fast internet speeds through an Ethernet port, you can use this device. Now, if you need to display your laptop screen onto a bigger screen so you can show people something, maybe you're doing some sort of uh, seminar or something like that where you want to point some stuff out, and the laptop uh, monitor is very small, you can point this out onto a larger screen by using the uh, ports on the actual device to display it onto a larger screen, which is quite useful. Uh, also, I'm just going to plug in some other devices here to show you don't have to have very limited uh, connectivity here. I've got uh, USB drives that I'm going to be plugging in here. And remember, this is running off its own power. It's not a got or a power adapter or a power brick going into the wall. We're just plugging it into the computer and basically running this on battery. And you can see it's populating all of these drives, no problem at all. I'll even put in another micro SD card into the slot here, and you can see it's all functioning perfectly fine. And that is great because it means you don't have to have any additional power adapters with you or anything like that. It just plug it straight into whatever you need, and you'll get all of this stuff plugged in and displayed on the screen here, as you can see. 
So a really useful little uh, device. If you're looking for something that works with Mac, also works with Windows laptops, or maybe you want to plug in a Steam Deck or a Switch or something like that into this device, you will be able to display this on a larger screen and it will work perfectly fine. Another one is this 13 in one, which I want to show you here, which does require a power adapter, but it does have some extra ports on here. And I wanted to show you this one uh, because obviously it's a different option. This one is more for people that want to have this on their desk and they're not going to be moving it around in a portable way. This way you can leave this on the desk, plug it into a wall socket, and you will then get access to a lot of ports, 13 ports on this one. It does come with its own cables and driver. You will need to put the driver one in here, which I wasn't quite happy about. I was hoping it was plug in and play, but you do need to put the driver on to get this to work. There is an adapter here for Type-C. If your laptop doesn't have a Type-C connector on it, you can plug in the USB uh, A connector into the laptop and then use the uh, cable to plug into the Type-C. We've got a power adapter here, and also we have our ports on here. This device will work with Chromebook, Mac OS, also Android, uh, Ubuntu, and also Windows operating systems as well. On this side, we have two USB 2.0 ports with data and 7.5 watts charge. We have that audio microphone input there, USB uh, C port 3.2 Gen 1, only data on this one, 5 uh, Gbps. Also, we have on here two USB ports uh, 3.2 Gen 1. On this side, on here at the top, we have a HDMI at 4K at 60 hertz, also a display port at 4K at 60 hertz. We also have two more ports on here for display free, HDMI and DP, RJ45, which is your one gigabit ethernet port. We have a type C host port on here. And also we do have that DC in and also USB at C PD charging port on here, maximum 100 watts. So not a bad little unit made of aluminium, uh, pretty nice. I'm going to plug it all in so you can see what it looks like. You do need to put power to this, and then you need to put the uh, cable to the actual uh, laptop or device that you want to plug it into. And you will need to download the drivers off of this USB flash drive, which they give you here, which to me, I would prefer if it was plug and play, but it's not. You do need to open this up and get the driver off of this and install it before it recognizes anything on this particular device. But it is pretty quick and easy. All you need to do is open up the USB flash drive, go to the correct folder, whether it be a Windows or Linux or whether it be Mac or Android. You just install that driver and it should work straight away. So I'm going to go ahead and get this installed onto the actual laptop so the device will work correctly. And then we can plug some stuff in and show you basically what it is. Now, of course, this is going to be a little bit more larger than the other device. And again, I would say that this is more meant to be on the actual uh, desktop and not being carried around. We do have our ethernet working and we do have the HDMI cable working on here. So we're getting dual display here. You can have up to three displays on this as well, which is pretty good uh, for a device of this size. So if you need uh, to show uh, free displays, you can do it with this particular device. I don't have free displays to hand to test that, but I'm pretty sure it would work. Otherwise they wouldn't put it on the box. Again, I'm plugging in some USB flash drives here and you can see they're all being populated and showing up on here. I'm gonna plug in another device here so you can get an idea. I'll run a quick speed test here to see what the broadband speed we get, whether we get actually like for like for what I'm actually paying for on this device. Cause sometimes I've used these USB hubs and they don't give you the full speed, but you can see we are getting the full speed from this device when I plug it in. So pretty nice to see. So I'll leave the links for both of these devices in the video description. If you need extra ports on your laptop or the device that you're using, then you can use something like this to give you an array of different uh, ports on your device that you're plugging it into. If it doesn't have an Ethernet port, both of these devices have Ethernet ports and Type-C and USB ports. But if you're looking for one with more display ports, then something like this might be for you. And if you're looking for one with more USB type connectivity, then maybe the other version is for you as well because it does have that SD card reader on there as well. If your laptop doesn't have one of those and you want to add that addition to your device, you could use one of those devices. Anyway, I think that's going to be about it. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. And uh, anyway, thanks again for watching. Catch you in the next one. Bye for now.